Hello, my little butterflies. In this video, I'll be reviewing Leopard James Volume 2 by Noelle Stevens. Okay, guys. So, I gave this book three stars, I believe. Yeah, I'm just not... I wasn't... I really wasn't feeling this volume. Um, I think the whole volume one as a whole, I gave a four out of five stars. But this one, I just... Uh-uh. I gave it three. Yeah, I gave it three stars. I just felt like this this volume like as an ending I, well it's not an ending because i think there's two more volumes after this but i won't be looking for them i think this volume as an ending to what we previously were experiencing in the first volume was this, it, it, it was boring it was a boring ending like i just felt very bored throughout this i didn't feel i didn't feel you know drawn in to anything that was happening i just was like okay you know whatever it was like an afterthought reading this I wasn't really engaged at all. I just wanted it to be over, to be honest. Like, I didn't enjoy this. Like, I wish I would have. And I know you're like, if you didn't enjoy it, why the hell you gave it three stars? Anyway, um, I, what made it three stars for me, and it's sad, but what made it three stars for me was the cover gallery. The art in the cover gallery is it, it's amazing. It's very beautiful. I'm in love with the art in this cover gallery. That's why this ended up getting an extra star for me. I think this is the cover for the fourth, for the fourth um, volume. I'm not sure what I think it is. I, I, I really love the, every time at the end in that cover gallery, it's very beautiful. So I love it. And they had an extra comic at the end, like a sneak peek, but I didn't read it because I just wasn't. After this, I was just like, trying to get put it down. But I, I just, I, like the action wasn't really hitting for me like there was maybe one part throughout you know this volume where I was like okay yeah I like that the action but then everything else it was like kind of like okay whatever it was a little predictable I was like okay so it wasn't anything that was like oh my god like kept me on my I kind of lost interest while I was reading this so yeah I, well at least I'm glad I'm satisfied with the end I got to the first mystery and there's two other volumes that I won't be picking up because I just I don't want to do this roller coaster this I was this the first volume is great and then the second volume is bad. And the third volume is great and the fourth volume is bad. I don't want that roller coaster. So I'm gonna stop right here. I'm, I'm kind of upset because I know a lot of people really love this this um this series. I hear a lot of people say it's awesome and I love this so much and I'm mad because I I wanted to enjoy it too but I didn't. So yeah, I just I I, I just didn't see where all the hype is. I definitely think this is overhyped. It might just, I don't know, maybe I'm just being rough, but I just, I think this is very overhyped and it just, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. So, yeah, that's all I have to say for this book. It's very quick review, very quick, simple, to the point. That's all I have to say for this graphic novel and everything. So, yeah, I don't recommend, I, I don't, I wouldn't recommend it unless, you know, you just really want an ending to the first volume. But I, I didn't really care for this one. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.